We are following breaking news in St. Charles Parish tonight where some parents, they were unknowingly sending their children to school while someone who's nearly 30 years old was sitting at a desk next to them. A 28 year old woman was enrolled at Hanville High School posing as a teenager. It has a lot of us asking, how did this happen? It certainly does. And Alyssa Curtis is at the St. Charles Sheriff's Office tonight. Many parents surely concerned something bad could have happened. Did the sheriff give any indication parents to have something to worry about, Alyssa? Well, Katie Sharice, the sheriff actually just told us a little bit ago that he believes nothing nefarious was happening while this woman was enrolled in Hanville High School. He says the woman went to school, did her work and did not cause any problems. He says the investigation so far shows nothing inappropriate was happening. He says she just wanted to learn English. Amid the teenagers walking around the halls of Hanville High School this past school year was unknowingly a 28 year old. Marta Jesenia Gutierrez Serrano was enrolled in ninth grade for the 2022 2023 school year. We were provided with basically a birth certificate uh, from the uh, country of Honduras, which indicated that the student in question was 17 years old. But the school district received a tip in May that Gutierrez Serrano may not have been 17. The student was overaged determined that it was quite likely that the birth certificate was was counterfeit or, or, or doctored or uh, a false birth certificate. Tuesday, June 13th, she and her mother, Marta Elizabeth Serrano Alvarado, were arrested and charged with one count each of injuring public records. How did a 28 year old enroll in a high school? St. Charles Parish School Superintendent says her enrollment was done in line with state law. Some of those things that require birth certificates and or proof of residency based on where the student resides in whatever parish that they may reside in. So all of our policy and procedures were aligned to law and the protocols that were followed were also aligned to, to those same procedures. But why would an almost 30 year old want to go to high school? She wanted to learn English. She wanted to become proficient at English. While the sheriff says parents are likely concerned a 28 year old was in school with their children, he says there was nothing nefarious with her enrollment. She was in school. She minded her own business. She did her school work. She caused no trouble. She was not a disciplinary problem. Uh, she violated no laws in the community that we had to deal with her. As far as we know, she did nothing inappropriate at all. The woman has since been released from jail. She and her mother have been released. Alyssa, a quick question for you. Is the school district making any changes to try and keep this from happening again? They are. They say that they are working to do an audit of everyone who is currently enrolled in their enrollment documents, but they're also going to work to review their procedures and possibly make some changes um, moving forward.